Just in, Supreme Court destroys Obama 5 to 4, and Americans are cheering. Obama era programs continue to meet their demise. That's no loss since most of what his administration initiated was worthless to begin with. The ill fated health care program known as Obamacare would be a prime example. So poorly conceived was the thing that it will collapse on its own. It is up to President Trump and the Congress to bring it to an end before it does more damage. And then put something workable in its place. Mr. Obama's immigration policies were more insidious. He would like to portray those supporting open immigration and amnesty for illegals in the U.S. as angels of mercy. And his opponents as heartless, racist, or some other form of bigot. The truth is that Obama and the Democrats want to bring illegal immigrants into the country, coddle them in sanctuary cities, and turn them into Democratic Party voters. It's that simple. Under the leadership of President Trump, the Department of Homeland Security is allowing Mr. Obama's Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, DACA, program to sunset. This program allowed illegals who arrived here as children to remain in the U.S. with temporary legal status. A legal challenge was launched to interfere with DHS by forcing the release of sensitive information. The Supreme Court just supported the position of the Trump administration. Thus, the sunsetting of DACA continues unimpeded. A temporary ruling in favor of one of Trump's immigration rules has stepped right over a program left by Barack Obama. Too late on Friday for anyone in the mainstream media to react, the Supreme Court voted in favor to allow the Trump administration to conceal records they have that deal with the cancellation of the DACA program. The DACA program, or the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals program was an Obama-era rule that gave temporary legal status to any person who entered the country, sometimes with their parents sometimes by themselves, who was still a minor at the time. It's important to note that not all of those here in the U.S. under DACA are honest people, eager to make a positive contribution to the country as alleged by the left. Some rather dangerous criminals have used the program as well. Gangs like MS-13 are notorious for having members that have abused the system. Whenever ICE makes a wide sweep to arrest members of the gang, even mainstream media outlets are forced to admit that several of the number were part of the DACA program. Of course, the Department of Justice and other members of the Trump administration are pleased with the ruling. A spokesperson for the Department of Justice gave more information on the temporary ruling. The Supreme Court was handling the case after a lower court ruled that the Trump administration must disclose all emails, letters, and similar memos related to DACA decisions by December 22nd of this year but spokesman Devin O'Malley says that they are pleased with the Supreme Court's decision which stamps down on the overreach by the district court who attempted to tell the Oval Office to hand over sensitive article. The Department of Homeland Security acted within its lawful authority in deciding to wind down DACA in an orderly manner, and the Justice Department believes the courts will ultimately agree. One of the left tools in imposing its policies on Americans has been the court system. This has been going on for decades. If the left can control the White House, it can stack the federal courts with activist judges who are eager to create laws in the form of decisions. Get five liberals on the U.S. Supreme Court, and the plain meaning, or original intent of the Constitution becomes irrelevant. This is so much easier and quicker than trying to convince voters in 50 states that liberal beliefs and the programs they spawn are right for America. Control the Supreme Court with liberals and all sorts of laws can be discovered and imposed on the nation. What we have in this decision is a small reminder of just how important the election of President Trump was. And it explains why the left is doing anything possible to destroy his presidency. Those efforts are a measure of just how much he threatens liberal efforts. And that's more good news.